Good evening, everyone. Ali Safi here from Safi Financial Network. Today is May 2nd, 2024. This is second time that I'm just recording this video. And uh, I don't know, for whatever reason, YouTube didn't um, didn't process the first one, which I'm just uh, going with the second one, but I'm going to go with the short shorter one and shorter revision. So I'm not going to go through all the uh, individual stocks. I'm just going to main indexes and gold and silver and crude and then finish this video probably the comprehensive one which is going to be the comprehensive one is going to be tomorrow um uh, after an fp number all right so today we just got apple earning and apple just uh, after six months i believe after two quarters eight months or six months sorry uh, six months they just um said okay they beat the earning and revenue which is after six months they just uh, took a loss and now they're just coming back with a positive earning and um, actually they were positive but they didn't get into uh expectation right now they just satisfy the expectation and uh, that kind of like increased the price to the upside to 183 which is six person after hours s p 500 according to good earning from apple it's just hiking back up nicely even after hours it goes to here so s p still i'm just looking for kind of like a choppiness here um the second week uh, of may i'm kind of like expecting this correction will be finished and when this correction will be finished we should expect a long last rally all the way up to the upside so uh, that would be kind of like the scenario that i'm just looking for and I just uh, accumulate lots of stocks here at this pivot and still looking for another correction. And this correction can, can come uh, potentially um, next week or maximum the third week of May. And then after that, we should expect rallies going higher and higher and higher to new all-time high um, by September. So uh, just buckle up still. I'm just uh, looking for kind of like a correction to... Um, maybe we're going to engulf this pattern all the way down to 4840. And I'm not expecting um, this one even getting to here, but this is going to be 25 person scenario. I don't know if we get this one, but if we get there, so that's going to be kind of like a fantastic buying opportunity, 46 to 48. But 4840, that's going to be the scenario that I'm just thinking likely we may get to that area and then uh, that's going to be it. Uh, moving on to NASDAQ, which was kind of like a positive as well after a good earning from um, Apple. So NASDAQ going higher, 1.54% to the upside. Pretty good price action. I was still looking for this as like a bear flag if we get to kind of like a choppiness. And next week and this week, tomorrow is going to be NFP. And also next week is going to be CPI. So that's going to be interesting to see how market is going to react. but. Again, this uh, 16 to 17,000 is going to be a fantastic buying opportunity all the way up to new all-time high. Moving on to Dow Jones, which kind of like a performing very well today. So heavy value names just beating up the market today. Dow is forming pretty nice W pattern here. I don't know if uh, this is going to be it. That's going to be the end of the correction. Or we're going to see another just a leg down here. But if we get above this, I should say above this supply area, uh, somewhere around 18, uh, 39,000, if we get a close above 39,000, we should just say the bearish momentum is going to be gone and the momentum is getting back to the bull side and we are going to just uh, see higher and higher and higher all the way up to uh, 40,000 and above. So that is interesting to see how Dow is reacting, but Today, price action for Dow was marvelous. Moving on to gold, which had a negative day, even after hours right now, gold is negative as well. So a gold is kind of like a forming the ending diagonal here, I believe. Ending diagonal in this formation and also bull flag with a bigger picture, which is both are going to be bullish. So 20, uh, 2250 to 22. 30, that's going to be the level that I'm looking for. For gold, if, if we get there, that's going to be a great buying opportunity to the upside. So still waiting for NFP and CPI, which can have like um, 
big impact on gold as well. Moving on to silver, silver just coming down to this um, demand area, still early stage, but I believe that silver can go lower. Uh, today, we just got a nice a shadow here, just touched in this area and then reversing back up. Still looking for kind of like a deeper correction. If we get there, I believe that's going to be it. So the next buying opportunity is coming. Um, still, uh, for those ones who want to just get involved with a silver investment for next three to four months, there is no doubt this is good level to buy. Um, I remember we were talking about this level, and now market is giving us another buying opportunity, higher price, but good risk to reward those. So momentum is back to silver, and I believe that silver is going to just outperform potentially um, gold as well. Moving on to crude, which kind of like a negative doji board today. Crude is just holding up this demand area. If it holds up above 77, that's going to be the level that uh, we are looking for, for under valley. I believe that crude can get down uh, for uh, months of June. So we can see crude a 60 to 65. Um, that's going to be a very, very potential scenario. So um, we will see. We will see how it goes. But that's at 61 to 65 would be a fantastic buying opportunity. This is my take for today. Again, apology for being late. And also this second video is shorter version just because the first version I just uh, recorded three hours ago and it didn't work out. And uh, now I'm just coming back with this quick update. I will be back tomorrow with a weekly edition. So make sure to watch that video as well. Have a fantastic evening. See you on the chart. Bye-bye.